story of Teresa and Tabitha. Some of you that work at the Voice of Prophecy know these folks. Teresa is a Bible worker at heart. She had been trained under a pastor to do Bible work, but the challenge was she had to move from one area to a completely other area. And so she didn't know what to do. She said, I want to give Bible studies. I want to be involved in God's work, but I don't know how to do it. She was stressing about this as, the, as her husband announced that they would need to move. But things started making sense when she walked into the lobby of the church that she hoped would be her new home church. There, at the little connect table, kind of like we do, she saw a stack of Bible study requests. You see, the church had a Bible school, and they were going out, and they were inviting people to take Bible studies, but nobody was courageous enough to go out and act upon them. They were just stacking up there. And she said, oh, this is what I was made for. So one by one, she worked through the cards. And one of those cards had the name Tabitha on it. Tabitha was in another situation. Tabitha was a recent widow. Her husband had died during the COVID pandemic. He had collapsed in her living room floor. They took him by, by the ambulance to the, the hospital. They took him there, and that was the last time she saw him. As he struggled for his life in that bed, she was not allowed to go in and see him. And as he died there, her heart broke. She wondered, what was God doing? And so she popped online, as some people do when they're struggling. She was scrolling, or maybe this way, or maybe that way. I don't know how she was scrolling, but she was scrolling, and she found an advertisement for Bible studies. The interesting side note was that the Bible studies that she was looking at, she didn't realize her late husband had been studying before as well. He had gotten connected with this group that meets on Saturday. And though she told him every Saturday morning, I'm sleeping in, he was going and hanging out with his pastor and taking these studies on the book of Daniel and Revelation. She mocked him. She said, we're Pentecostals. We are, we've always been Pentecostals and that's the way we're going to be. But when crisis hit her life, God had something in store for her. And so she began studying the very same lessons her husband had been studying. Unbeknownst to her, those were the very same lessons. After taking the first lesson, Teresa showed up at her house. She was a bit, Tabitha was like, what? what's going on? I thought these were online. Help me out here. But soon enough, a friendship began. And soon enough, Tabitha kept studying. Teresa said, it was so crazy, I couldn't keep up with her. I had to bring three, four, five lessons a week. She was eating it up. By the time Tabitha was done going through lessons, she had gone through 16 sets of lessons. 16 sets. Imagine those who worked at the Bible school trying to get 16 different lessons for her. Crazy. And in the process, Tabitha was connecting Connecting with the one we know, but also connecting in a community that grows. She was baptized. And now you'll find her and Teresa working in tandem together. Teresa has taken Tabitha as her understudy. Tabitha needed to know. Teresa needed to go. And together, they are growing.